This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. ABC 171 wants to know, uh, Mick Foley said he dropped Manson from cactus Jack because of the Charles Manson, uh, correlation. Any worries that Bundy would make people think of Ted Bundy? The killer. Well, I mean, I, I think that's a natural assumption that if you're a bad guy, um, no, I, I really don't. You never drew that correlation I, until just now. Never, ever, ever. Okay. But when, when it was cactus, Jack Manson, did you immediately think of Charles Manson? Well, the difference is, is that Jack looked like okay. Charles Manson. King Kong Bundy doesn't look anything like Ted Bundy. It'd be the last person I would think of. He could have eaten Ted Bundy. Maybe. Um, it is worth mentioning. I think Ted Bundy, I think he was like put to death in 89. So that would have happened around the same time. Um, lots of questions about this in the early to mid two thousands. There always seemed to be an influx of old legends coming in for one-off matches or segments. Was it ever discussed in that era to bring in Bundy for a match or segment that you can think of that comes to us from the WrestleManiac? Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if Bundy's name was, was mentioned. And I, from the last dealings that, that I had with Chris and when I saw Chris was he wasn't really that interested in, in doing much of anything in the wrestling business anymore. So I, I think even if they had reached out, I don't know that he would have been receptive to that. Pete wants to know, did Bundy have any major heat backstage with anyone on the roster? The rumor in innuendo was, uh, he was not easy to get along with. I guess another way to ask that would be. Do you know of him having heat with anyone besides Andre? I I really don't. Um, He may have, but not to my knowledge. And and again, it it wasn't something that was overt. May have been people didn't like him for whatever reason, but I don't know of anybody that loudly proclaimed, "Ah, I can't stand the fucking King Kong Bundy. Don't want him around here. We got lots of feedback that they felt like Bundy was perhaps Hogan's worst big marquee match from the era. Mike wants to know, what do you think Hogan thought of working with Bundy? It's been said a few times that his offense looked like crap, but hurt like hell. (laughs) Um, I think that, that Hogan liked it is the, you know, the WrestleMania program that it was from the standpoint of it was a gigantic monster that seemed unkillable that Hogan could conquer. So to that, I I think that it did work. And, uh, I don't know that it was Hogan's favorite opponent, but it certainly wasn't his least favorite. Pender J wants to know who was undertaker's least favorite WrestleMania opponent, giant Gonzalez, King Kong Bundy, or Mabel. He didn't wrestle Mabel. Gonzalez without a doubt. Yeah. Here's a big one. Jason wants to know, I've heard King Kong Bundy say Vince made a lot of promises to him upon his return to the company in 94 that never came to fruition. Does Bruce know anything about what was planned for Bundy after his return? Yeah, it was Chris, come on back and let's see what happens. Again, it's a classic tale of talent. People in general will hear what they want to hear out of a Vince conversation. Event says, you know, hey, uh, that outfit looks great. Ah, Vince loved this outfit. This is what I'm wearing, you know, forever and ever from now on. Um, or he says, I could definitely see you at some point being a champion. Vince promised me the title. That's what they hear. And it's, uh, as far as promises, he, he was promised opportunity like everyone else. And there were no other promises made. Do you know who Bundy rode with? He rode with my fat ass from, from Stanford to the hotel when he came back. Um, God, I don't. What do you think his, uh, legacy in pro wrestling will be? Is it all about that Saturday night's main event with Hogan and WrestleMania two? Do you think? 
You know, I, I think that it's going to be about the five count. And believe it or not, I think more people would probably know Bundy for slamming Little Beaver in the elbow drop at WrestleMania three, simply because of that massive audience that saw that and remembers that and the just absurdity of it all. Well, I'm glad we got to pay homage to one of the great big men of all time, a character and a half man. Uh, but next week we're doing something that we have planned almost since the beginning, I think it was 2017 when we both agreed that we were doing next week's show. Uh, it's November 13th. It's the late great Eddie Guerrero on the 15 year anniversary of his death. Is this going to be one of our most emotional and, and important episodes that you've ever done? Do you think looking forward to it? Not looking forward to it all at the same time. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30-year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.